Oh, I ain't know you a sitter. What's up? Up YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm back with another vlog. You know me. Uh, I'm going to another event, and I'm bringing you guys with me. I feel like y'all liked the last one, and I'm gonna just react to them too, so y'all can feel them with me. If you get what I'm saying, so y'all can like go back to the vlog and know that's how I was feeling because I'm reacting to it. So y'all already know. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get it. Um, fit. We're wearing a dress. Don't mind the mess if you can see it. I don't know, but I got on the dress. Something slight. Got on the shoes from like the last video, cause nobody seen me, but the people that I was with. So, might as well. And yeah. There you go. This is jewelry my mama made. Like she always been making jewelry. So yeah, that's that wrist. You know, she look good. Got this watch. Shit. There we go. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm about to do my lips right now. The video starts at 8. It's 7.23. It takes me 30 minutes to get there, so I'm not going to be too late. I'm trying not to make that a thing no more. Because I'm at least going to have some other people in the vlog, I guess. Look. I'm just trying to do something different for you guys. I'm trying to step out my own comfort zone. So, yeah, I guess we're both going to be uncomfortable together. If it's cringy, then I won't do it. And if it's not, we're going to keep doing it. But I doubt I'm going to be cringy or it's really going to be an issue. I just got to step out my comfort zone, y'all. So, yeah. Um, Next time y'all probably going to see me is in the car. And I didn't charge my camera. So, that's another reason why I think this might be like a quick little vlog and stuff. But... Yeah, so next time y'all gonna see me is in the car. I might be getting gas or I might get gas while I'm already out there. So yeah. A, B, C, D, B, R, B. Yeah, but yeah, B, R, B. Okay, y'all see it. Hold on. Right quick though. Y'all see this? I was with somebody. I'm not gonna specify who. And I was with somebody. And they took me out on a date. And they was looking at my legs and they was like, I know you ain't got no nigga tattered on your legs. I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, it's a name, like on the inner part of your legs. It's on like both sides. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. But and then I looked, I'm like, oh, you're talking about my. It says rare and it says pure. But he thought it said a nigga name. And I'm just kind of like, I'll be one bolt. Now look, I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with y'all. I would do that. <laughs> like, I'm the type, yeah, I'll I be dumb enough to tattered a nigga name. But I'll get it covered, so I don't really care. If I have to, if it gets to that point, I doubt it. I hope not, but sorry, y'all. Y'all gotta watch me be gay. Lord have mercy. All right. So anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, uh, I'll be slow enough to do some shit like that. Bro, her ass really just threw me off. Well, um, I'll be stupid enough to do something like that, but I can get it covered. But nah, like. It just says rare and pure. And I want y'all guys, I want all of y'all to know, like, there's no tat on my body that represents a nigga or it is about a nigga. Whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. I, I ain't even really got to explain that. It just really caught me off guard. Um, I want to take y'all inside with me. But I'm not even going to lie. The last time I've been to an event and some dude was, like, vlogging. He had his own personal camera. And he was a host. He got his camera stolen. So I just don't trust people. I really don't and I'm a little scared so uh I'm gonna go inside see what it's talking about come back outside and talk to y'all per usual oh I ain't never seen these motherfuckers before let me see what the fuck going on and y'all know me I gotta use the bathroom so B R shit I don't know D never mind B R B what's up YouTube um, I know in the beginning part of the video, I was talking about a vlog and I was going to take you guys with me for the face to face and if it was awkward and it was going to be awkward, I was going to react, all of that extra, extra shit. But, um, I just felt like I needed to be completely honest with you guys and just tell y'all the truth. And I'm not lying, but it just felt like I was not showing y'all my true colors not showing y'all who i really really am like i like what i'm doing <clears throat> excuse me i like the content that i'm putting out for you guys i'm actually enjoying that stuff but some of this stuff isn't me 
I'm just doing it just to do it if you get where I'm coming from. I'd rather give y'all shit that I'm actually enjoying and like actually do shit for y'all that I really like and y'all got and you guys like it too. Like it's not forceful or it just seems like I'm just doing it just to do it. I don't like doing stuff like that because it's pointless, you know. And I've been honestly I could say I've been grinding consistently since like January, just putting out content for you guys twenty four seven, no matter what it is, no matter what I was doing, I at least tried to make sure like I was putting out content for y'all. But it just it became like a thing like okay i just got to put out content not put in my head not planting seeds of what type of content i want to keep bringing or what i want to bring to the table and do it a little bit differently that people start like seeing what i'm doing they find it very intriguing and stuff i know y'all want another interview video like another uh mall video and stuff y'all like it when i do interviews and it's just kind of like a mind thing and it's also like it sometimes they are here to miss feels like i'm making up excuses but i'm dead serious that video, that loyalty test, took three days to film because not everybody wants to be in your video. And you could be there for hours trying to find somebody to be in the video and all of that extra stuff. So that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. I am going to do it, but it probably just won't be like right now, you know. Um, It's going to be so. Like, of course, I got to give you all a whole nother video. This is what y'all are here for. Y'all loved it, but... You know, y'all have to love me for who I am and support me for the stuff that I bring to the table, even if it's stuff that y'all don't always like. And I want to start doing, like, clothing hauls and, and all of that other stuff. Like, I want to start doing more, but I know I am my biggest issue. I know I am my biggest problem. So, I know I be in my own head and I just got to do it. I could do a whole fashion show for y'all, like, right now if I really wanted to. But it's just kind of like I'm going to start overthinking about my clothes and all of that extra stuff but i can really put that shit together for real from what i got like i got stuff and i'm extremely grateful but i feel like it's right to do it a certain type of way we're gonna get into that because i want to do a video like that for you guys where i go to a thrift store go to like a certain store with a certain amount of money and I actually buy clothes and y'all see how i put shit together you get what i'm saying oh excuse me I just felt like we needed to have like a one-on-one -on -one together you know and I just needed to just be completely honest with you guys because it just felt like it was I wasn't being true to myself nor did it feel like this was the right thing to do I felt like this was the right thing to do to just own up to all of this shit and let you guys know that I like doing what I'm doing but I don't like how I'm doing it and I don't like how I'm going about, uh, about it I want to just be me like, that's all I want to do is just be me with no act and stop trying to act like I'm something that I'm not. Like, I'm goofy. Very, very goofy. People tell me 24-7 that I should be a comedian. It's just hard for me to bring that side out on camera because she done got manipulated and I done got used in a way. So it's like, it's really hard for me to bring that side out unless I'm really, really comfortable. So I love that. I actually love fashion. Like, I like being a girly girl. But I give off, like, masculine vibes and feminine vibes. But I actually like it because it makes me feel good. It makes me, like, I look good. And I know I look good. But I got to step into that. Because I'm, I'm just now getting used to it. I'm just now getting comfortable with what I look good with. Still trying to figure out my taste. So it's like, it's something stuff, certain stuff that just comes with time. But I just felt like I just needed to tell you guys. I have on a shirt. I don't know if... You could tell, but I most definitely have on a shirt. <laughs> so I knew me lifting it up looked like I didn't, or I have on like a sh uh, what's that thing you call a towel or something. But I have on a shirt. This camera is just heavy as hell, y'all. I'm I'm working out too, so so I can get used to my hand being out. I really don't like it. I would love for somebody to record for me, and I have the little stand, but it's kind of flimsy. So and this is a heavy ass camera, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, so y'all are here. Because I'm different. There's something different about me that y'all like. And I want to continue to bring that to the table. And I genuinely appreciate that. Because I see it within myself. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you guys. But I see it within myself. So it's just, uh, it's a mind thing. And I'm still trying. I'm still going to bring content. I'm still going to do stuff for you guys. I watch YouTube. I watch YouTubers too. Like I actually sit down watch YouTubers get expired. Pick up my camera and go off that. And sometimes my content, most of the time my content does go off, go off good and y'all like it and I like it too. But I just feel like 
I gotta keep doing this in my own space. I gotta keep doing stuff in my own space to make me get out of them uncomfortable situations. Cause right now I'm just super uncomfortable. Like I'm just really uncomfortable. I'm comfortable and I'm very grateful for all the stuff that I got, but I'm uncomfortable, like point blank period. Because I'm not facing those fears. So they're blocking me from being or doing the things that I really wanna do for you guys. And I'm sorry. Like I, I'm really, I take mental health very serious because I come from that. I used to be bullied. I did not always look like this. I used to be big, like, for real, for real. And I didn't really have friends. And it was just a dark, depressing time. So it's just kind of like I face real life anxiety and I have fears that I just, I'm trying to face. It's also an ego thing. My ego is bigger than what I am. So yeah, you guys, I'm sorry. Y'all will start seeing me and truly me on camera from here and this point out. Now, them games, like the gameplay videos, those are me. Point blank period. That is me. That's why I upload that stuff. I've been thinking about making another gameplay channel specifically for that. So you guys could, like, know that this is my gaming channel. And then I have, like, my regular channel so I don't have to have both. But I love you guys. Like, for real. Y'all are my family. I appreciate y'all giving me the 300 subscribers. I appreciate y'all getting that loyalty test to 11K. It's probably going to keep going up day by day. But I, I'm super grateful for you guys. For real. For real. I love you guys. Y'all are my family. We are one. I'm not no celebrity that act different. I'm not famous. Like Y'all can actually talk to me at Tribuary point blank period. Y'all are here and y'all are witnessing greatness in the making for real. And I have hope that I'm going to make it where I, where I have to be and where I need to be and where I want to be. I'm already there in my mind because I already started. But keep supporting me. I keep supporting you guys and I keep bringing the stuff to the table that y'all want to see. I love you guys. You know forever and always I got you. And keep y'all heads up because I'm going to keep mine up. But you know forever and always I got you.